Photoshop rolled out some new features in the latest update. These features are available in Photoshop beta and also in the regular Photoshop. So I'm going to show you both and what these features are and let's just take a look at them. Now to get these new features, make sure to go to your creative cloud and then go to updates and make sure you update your Photoshop and Photoshop beta. Now let's go into Photoshop beta and here I'm going to use this photo as an example. And let's go to the toolbar here and select object selection. And within object selection, we have a button here, select people. And what it does is it can select people from your photo. You can see here, it shows four people exactly like in our photo. And when we click on one person, we can select different body parts of this person. So every time you select a different person, it's gonna select different body parts. So for instance, if your photo would have legs here, it would show the legs here. And if your person has a beard, for instance, it would also show beard here. So for every person, these selections are different. It all depends on who's in your photo and what the person looks like. So let's say I wanna edit the eyes of this person. I would click on eyes here and I will click on apply. And now you can see we have a selection of the eyes. And now for instance, if I would add a adjustment layer here, I can adjust these eyes like that. So you can really target different body parts to edit them. Now, for instance, if I would like to select all the persons in the photo or multiple ones, you can either select them both, or if you wanna select them all, for instance, you wanna select all the eyes, you will click on this one, and then you will go to eyes, and you can see here, we selected all the eyes in the photo. And now if I click on apply, it's gonna make a selection of all these eyes. And then when I apply a curves, for instance, I can make all the eyes lighter in this photo. Now let's have a look at the other feature that is available in the regular Photoshop. Here I'm in Photoshop 2025. And let's say for instance, I wanna edit my photo. Let's duplicate this layer and convert this to a smart object. And when we go into camera raw filter, we have a new tool. If you go down to color mixer, you have this button here. When I click on this one, I can target some areas that I wanna change. Here you can see we have some sliders, hue, saturation, and luminance. Let's say I wanna change the hue of my skin color. I would select here and hold my mouse and I can move it from left to right. And that way I can really color grade my skin here. Let's say I wanna change the color of my lips here. I could also do that simply by doing this. Then we also have the saturation slider and it works pretty much the same. Just click on the area that you wanna target and move it from left to right. Then we have luminance and here is the same. Although I wouldn't do it like that. There is another new feature and let's have a look at this one. When you open up a raw photo file into Photoshop, you will get camera raw first. And when you click on the remove icon here, we can see here we have distraction removal reflections. Now what it does is it can remove reflections from windows. So if you make a photo through a window, it can remove reflections from that window. But you can see this photo is not really a window. This is more like a lens flare. And I noticed that when you have photos like this, you might think it's a bit ruined, but let's click on remove reflections and let it do its job here. You can see how good this removes this lens flare. So if you got photos through a window, it can remove the reflection from a window. But if you got also photos like this one with a weird lens flare, you can also get rid of that. So I wouldn't know how to remove this in Photoshop, but with this one, we can really do it super easy. And here we have the slider of how much of this you want to remove. So the 100% it's all gone. So those are the new features that are available. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out my other videos. Until then, catch you on the next one.